Welcome to the O'Connor Elder Law Channel. I'm your host, Melissa O'Connor. Today I wanted to address the Latin phrase, per stirpes. I've had so many clients come into my office with their will or with a will of a loved one after they've passed away, and one of their questions is, I've read the will and it has this word, per stirpes, what does that mean? Um, Per stirpes is a Latin phrase and it literally means by the branch. So many, many wills will be written that um, the, I don't know, we'll just use the name Melissa, my name, that Melissa um, leaves all of her, her um, estate to her children and should a, um, equally. However, should one of her children not survive her, then she leaves it to their issue. An issue is just legalese term saying to their children. And usually it says per stirpes. And here's the concept. So say Melissa, another Melissa, because we'll, we need to use a little bit more than, I only have two children, and this hypo will work better if I have more than two children. So let's say I, Melissa, have four children, when in reality I only have two. And I write in my will that I'm going to leave my estate to my four children equally and I'm we're all living a great life and unfortunately one of my um, children pass away before me um, so now I have one deceased child and three living children at the time that I die so now that when I die my children go to probate my will and it says that I leave my uh, my legacy to my four children equally and um, they look at each other and they're like uh oh uh, child number four passed away what do we do and it says then should that child number four have passed away that I was going to leave my legacy to their children per stirpes so if child number my child number four that passed away before me had two children of their own then how it works is my estate would go one fourth, one fourth, one fourth till my children, child one, child two, child three, child four each gets a fourth. But child four died, right? So instead, child four's one fourth interest would go to that child's two children equally. So each of them would get half of the fourth or an eighth each. Does that make sense? hopefully so essentially it's just going down the branch um, and um, and should that child had not had anybody then it kind of comes back up but that that's that's that but um, that's what the word per stirpes mean and um, so I hope that it adds some clarity to you and you can understand um, what what, what it means when you, you see a will and it uses legalese terms like that and Latin terms like that. It means by the branch. Um, feel free to like and share if this content has been helpful to you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.